published 1204 Eastern Standard Time, the 31st of January 2019, updated 1204 Eastern Standard Time, the 31st of January 2019 Lincoln, R.I. AP, given their team's success, diehard fans of the New England Patriots have made Las Vegas like a winter home during Super Bowl week so they can enjoy a fair weather party while placing bets on the team's chances. Their destination this time around is a lot closer. Rhode Island was one of six states that legalized betting on sporting events last year after the U.S. Supreme Court allowed it, ending the effective sports gambling monopoly that Nevada had enjoyed for decades. It is the only state in New England that allows sports betting, making it a focal point for Patriots fans from around the Northeast. If you don't have to invest $1,000 going across the country, you're not going to, said Zach Natola, a 30-year-old Patriots fan from Watertown, Massachusetts. He has traveled to Las Vegas three times to bet on the Super Bowl. For the game this Sunday, he is planning to make the short trip south across the state line to the Twin River Casino in Lincoln, one of two places in Rhode Island that offers sports betting. He's excited about being able to watch his team and place bets without having to spend the money on a Las Vegas trip. In this Monday, Jan 28, 2019 photo, patrons visit the sports betting area of Twin River Casino in Lincoln, R.I. New England Patriots fans are gearing up for Super Bowl 53 by betting on the team to win over the Los Angeles Rams, the first time they can do so legally in New England. Rhode Island is the only state in the region that has launched sports betting so far, AP photo, Steven Sen, it makes it a good weekend, he said. The states that jumped into sports betting last year and the casinos that offer it are hoping it's a profitable weekend. In addition to Rhode Island, Delaware, Mississippi, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and West Virginia legalized sports betting after the high court's ruling last spring, as did the District of Columbia. Although New Mexico has not passed a sports betting law, an American Indian casino run by the Santa Ana Pueblo started taking bets without the need for additional state approval. Lawmakers in several other states have filed bills this year to allow sports betting. In Rhode Island, the state receives 51% of the revenue from sports betting, the highest percentage of any state that has legalized it. Revenue from the Super Bowl is expected to boost the state's coffers but the state lottery and the casino management group aren't making projections on how much. Gamblers placed about $13 million in wagers on professional sports in December, the first full month of legalized sports betting in the state. During the regular NFL season, casino customers complained about waiting an hour or more to place a bet. Since then, the Twin River Casino added betting windows, changed the way staff takes breaks and ran promotions asking people to come early to make Super Bowl wagers, said Craig Skoulos, the casino's vice president and general manager. He said the casino is ready for a big crowd Sunday, which he called the ultimate indoor tailgating party, a Super Bowl is an important event anyway, he said. Patriots Super Bowl becomes a mega event in New England, it is exactly that for Sebastian Scardocci, who went to Twin River Casino on Monday to place bets on his favorite player, Rob Grankowski. Scardocci, 50, lives in Foxborough, near the home of the Patriots star tight end and close to the team's Gillette Stadium. In one of hundreds of bets gamblers can place on individual players and outcomes within the Super Bowl, he wagered that Gronkowski would outperform predictions. Scardochi has traveled to Las Vegas and placed bets through local bookies. He said he and others he knows are excited to be able to have betting so close to home, especially with their team returning to the big game. It's neat to have it nearby, said Scardochi, who plans to watch the Super Bowl from home. We haven't had that option, another fan, Tyrone Foster, bet on sports for the first time when he visited Las Vegas last year, but the Twin River Casino is just a few minutes from his home in Central Falls. He was there this week to wager $50 on which team will win the coin toss and other in-game events, known among gamblers as proposition bets. It's awesome that Rhode Island has it, said Foster, 27. It helps with tourism, too.
All the benefits really go to the state that has sports betting, and I don't really see much in the way of downsides. Even a downside in the outcome for New England fans, a Patriots loss, would turn into a win for the state. That's because Rhode Island casino officials say most of the action has been on New England so far. Beyond Rhode Island, about two-thirds of wagers and three-fourths of the money bet has backed the Patriots, according to pregame.com, though that could change over four more days of betting. The Patriots, winners of two of the last four Super Bowls, are two-and-a-half-point favorites against the Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles opened as a one-point favorite when the matchup was set. God forbid the Patriots lose on Sunday, but it would be a windfall for the state, Jerry Aubin, the lottery's executive director, told state lawmakers who visited the Lincoln Casino on Monday. Wait, easy now, replied Rep. William O'Brien. After the meeting, O'Brien headed for a betting window and put $100 on the Patriots to win. Underscore 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 follow Jennifer McDermott at https colon slash slash twitter.com slash Jen McDermott top underscore 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 more APNFL https colon slash slash app news.com slash NFL and https colon slash slash twitter.com slash app underscore NFL in this Monday, Jan. 28, 2019 photo, Rhode Island State Rep. William O'Brien places a $100 bet at Twin River Casino in Lincoln, R.I., on the New England Patriots NFL football team to win over the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl 53. Fans of the Patriots are gearing up for Super Bowl 53 by betting on the game, the first time they can do so legally in New England. Rhode Island is the only state in the region that has launched sports betting so far. AP Photo, Stephen Sen, in this Monday, January 28, 2019 photo, patrons visit the sports betting area of Twin River Casino in Lincoln, R.I. New England Patriots fans are gearing up for Super Bowl 53 by betting on the team to win over the Los Angeles Rams, the first time they can do so legally in New England. Rhode Island is the only state in the region that has launched sports betting so far, AP Photo, Stephen Sen, in this Monday, Jan. 28, 2019 Photo Rhode Island Senate President Dominic Ruggiero places a bet on a sporting event at Twin River Casino in Lincoln, R.I. Fans of the New England Patriots are gearing up for Super Bowl 53 by betting on the game, the first time they can do so legally in New England. Rhode Island is the only state in the region that has launched sports betting so far. Though Ruggiero placed a bet on a basketball game Monday, he bet on the Patriots to win against the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl 53 earlier, AP Photo, Stevenson, sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.